What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. I've been a little busy off camera, just a little bit. Um, if you notice what we're holding, it is the Metal Chocobo. And I got that for getting like halfway through the Hurt Cup at the Coliseum. I beat the, I'd already beat the Phil Cup a while back. I went in and beat the Pegasus Cup. I was editing some videos, so while they were finishing, I figured I'd try that. Beat the Pegasus Cup, got all the way to the second to last level on the Hercules Cup. And uh, anyways, halfway through the Hercules Cup, you have to fight Cloud. And if you beat him, you get this. And if you notice, it's really good, except the fairy harp that we got at, um, which I was using this the first time, and when I made it so far, it takes our strength down one, sometimes deals powerful critical blows, and it takes our MP up to eight. This takes our keeps our MP at six, takes our strength up to 31. So I think for the time being, we're gonna use this, but we're gonna jump back to the fairy harp, even though it takes us down one point. It, our magic stays up, and um, it sometimes deals critical blows. This one rarely deals critical blows. So right now we're gonna use the metal choking bow while we Navigate Traverse Town for just a minute. Also, I told you what we had to do to get the um, fifth page. Fifth torn page. And it's right here. I went and got every single puppy that I could possibly get right now. Without the trinities that I need or without having to go further into the game. A gift from Pongo and Perdita. Mithril Shard. Torn Page. There we go. Another Mithril. Damn. How many puppies did I get? Um, oh, I look at all of them. We'll run through the house real quick. Just look at our handiwork. <laughs> They're everywhere. I love it. But... This episode, the reason we needed that torn page is for what we're about to do. And it's not fight these guys. <laughs> we are not doing that. Wow, that goes slower than this. Man, we're in God's name. Okay, I think it's in the third district because I, I jumped up here and got that treasure chest when I was coming over here too. Yeah, <laughs> we're literally back where we started. Um, where the fuck is this third district at? <laughs> Damn it! Here. Man, they're whipping our ass. I should have just went to a save point. It would have been so much easier. Thank God. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. We do have to do this. One, two, and three. <laughs> now we've got every one of them. <laughs> okay, real quick, we might as well just save and get our health back up. I could have just got that torn page and brought us here. Might as well look at the puppies. That's probably the last time we'll get to see them in the... In the uh, in this series, so, uh, yeah. Where's that book? There it is. What better way to do, or what better thing to do than just to kind of chill out here, 
because after Neverland stuff starts getting hard. And even it, it even told us in the uh, thing when I got back in the after Neverland when I got back in the gummy ship, it told us to come back to Traverse Town and see uh, Sid. So we're where we need to be, but we're gonna do this first. So, yeah, little little bits and pieces open up. I guess that's where we need to go first, is over there. An empty meadow. Take a look. It's Winnie the Pooh! thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? Yes. Wait a second. You're Pooh? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's gone away. What do you mean? Well, we all left here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play pool sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Or just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now, everyone is gone. All my friends, and my favorite honey tree too. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. So who knows? Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. The 100 Acre Wood. I loved it when we came here. When I first came here when I was a kid, I was like, wow, really? <laughs> I like got, for whatever reason, got so into Winnie the Pooh that I went and bought the original A.A. A. Milne books. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh and uh, <laughs> the house at Pooh Corner. Well, I guess we can return to the map. Why don't we save? Is, it, is there anywhere we can go first? An odd sign hangs above this door. This house's door. Take a look. Sure. So that one must have been the first page. This is the second page. I'm assuming. Fire! Oh, bother. There's no more honey left. If only the honey tree would visit. Oh, then I could eat my fill. I don't really... I don't think there's... A, I don't really don't think there's like enemies or anything here. I think it's just stuff like this. Go around, just interact with things. Let me guess, you'd like to know what happens next. Fortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you yet. The pages are scattered over many worlds. Would you find them for us? 
Sure. Now. <laughs> A tall, curious tree buzzing with bees. Sure. Can I go back to that one place and Whoa. see what happens next? <laughs> Is anyone there? Piglet. What am I to do? I'm all alone. Pooh. Pooh. Where are you? It's me, Piglet. Where do you go? I legit had to edit that. Never mind. I'm sorry. I legit had to edit that out. You're looking for Pooh, right? You know Pooh. I was jumping around all over the place. I could not. I don't know what I was missing there. You see, I have something for him. I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> Oh, who? Oh, I believe I smell a delicious something. <coughs> a something like honey. Poo. Hello, Piglet. How have you been? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? B -b 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 but how? I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? But if you take their honey, won't the bees be angry? Hmm. Oh. If you can only chase those bees away, chase away those bees, I'm quite certain I could get a small morsel of honey. Would you help me get some honey? Oh, well, sure. <laughs> oh, hello there, Owl. Good day, Pooh. What are you doing? I don't know what the Owl says. <laughs> Using a balloon to get some honey? Splendid idea. Allow me to offer a few pointers. Now Pooh can get honey by floating up this tree with his balloon. The honey is inside the tree hollows, not the beehives you see here. Let me guess, we have to uh, knock the beehives down. <laughs> There's quite a lot of honey in these holes. If Pooh gets too close, the bees will come out to protect their honey. If they get to Pooh, they'll pop his balloon, lock onto the bees and swat them away. The more time Pooh has at each hollow, the more honey he can eat. There's more honey higher up, too. If jumping from branch to branch prove, prove, proves difficult, try the rush command. Rush can help you catch up to Pooh quickly. But it isn't fully reliable. Good luck. Hmm. <laughs> Shit. I'm assuming he has to get to like a hundred. Man, 
Man, I can't see anything. Thank God it's knocking me right back on this branch. No, wait. The time. Okay, I did not even see the timer. That's even worse. I hate timers. We're doing okay so far. Alright, alright. <laughs> this is like such a nice break from the fighting. We probably could have been doing this the entire time. Like just chilling, I mean, in between things, but I figured why not just do it all at once, right? Which the more I think about it. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to do this all in one episode, or if I want to split it up. We've already done three pages, I believe, so we might just keep going, and this might just be a longer episode. If it ends up being a little bit longer, I mean, I don't know. I'd say it'll at least be thirty minutes. <laughs> I think the key to this one was <laughs> was to not overthink it. It's like, just stand here, swat the bees, just turn around and wait for the other ones. <laughs> because I can tell you right now, I would have had a lot of trouble trying to climb back to the top of this thing. Almost done, though. Almost done. I said those are probably the last ones. Oh yeah. Wonderful. It is rather funny what I will do for honey. <laughs> The torn page turned into a new... Okay, so that wasn't a torn page. Nature's Park. Okay. So, that's... So, there was that. Maybe later. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe. Maybe there's more torn pages. Um, let's do one more, and then we'll do the rest of them in the next episode. Uh, barring I'm not completely wrong about how this is working. <laughs> a broad expanse of vegetable fields. Take a look. Sure. You can hear me squeaking around. Oh, this is rabbit. There's a letter inside. I hope we'll be finding more honey together soon. Nobody's home, and I'm out of honey. What are we doing here? Destroying a man's garden? Hey! <laughs> there they are. Rabbit's house.
Look, Rabbit's house came back, but it looks like Rabbit isn't home. Pooh's been calling and calling, but the house says no one's there. <laughs> Nobody's home? That's right, nobody. All right, I guess we got to go back around front. Okay. Who is this person named Nobody? Nobody? Have you seen Rabbit? No, no rabbit here. There's no one here. Hello, rabbit. Oh, Poo, what a pleasant surprise. Nice to see you too. <laughs> nice to see you too, Piglet. And <laughs> is this a new friend? Poo, I'm sorry, but. I'm all out of honey at the moment. So I do smell honey. <laughs> so rabbit came back too, but someone's still missing. Some places in the hundred-acre wood are gone too. Oh, what to do? I have nothing to give Pooh. Don't waste your time looking around. Uh-oh. Uh, honey, now how did that get up there? Would you like some poo? Don't feel you have to, of course. Oh, well, thank you, rabbit. I would like just a small smack roll. I'm quite hungry. Um, Pooh Bear? You're not eating the whole pot, are you? Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? honey again I'm so glad to have found both rabbit and some honey is that it is that all there is to do here I guess it is Get there and pull vegetables out all day. Sure, that wasn't. I mean, I guess I, I guess it was it. Well, okay, here we go. Please help, Pooh. Oh, help and bother. I'm stuck again. I came into this hole, so it must have shrunk. <laughs> oh, what to do? All this because he can't stop liking honey so much. If Pooh doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged up forever. If only there was something we could do. Good Lord, it wouldn't let me unlock. It wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me get off of him for some reason. Oh, how will I eat honey if I'm stuck here? <laughs> when it's lunchtime, perhaps you could bring me a honey jar. No honey, to you're unstuck. If poo doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged up forever. If only there was something we could do. Wait, I know. A bit of carrot top juice will do the trick. I have a carrot patch on the other side of the stream. Carrot top juice is just the ticket to slimming down a poo. No, oh, no. Oh God, Tigger. <laughs> hey there, name's Tigger. T-I-double-G-R, that spells Tigger. Well now. 
I don't think I've ever seen you before. Hello, Tigger. You've just bounced my new friend, Sora. Hey, Pooh. Say, you're looking mighty uncomfy today. Is that some new exercise? Why, bouncing around is a lot more fun. <sighs> Why do you bounce around so much, Tigger? Why? Because bouncing's what Tiggers do best! Speaking of which, my bouncing spot has gone and disappeared. So for now, this will be my new bouncing ground. <laughs> Tigger's bouncing will ruin my vegetables, and if we don't give Pooh some carrot top juice, he'll be stuck forever. Please help me. Keep Tigger away from my carrots. This is quite a fix, but I have just a solution. Pay attention now. Hey, it's the owl. Sora, you'll have to protect this carrot patch. If Tigger bounces on a carrot twice, it'll be buried. Oh, great. Once. Twice. Just like that. Protect the carrot from Tigger's bounces and you'll receive points. How you ask? It's elementary. Simply get to the carrots before Tigger lands on them. There are 15 carrots here. Your score depends on how many you save and how many times you block Tigger. Oh, and one more thing. The rush command is the key to a high score. Select rush while near a carrot that isn't buried yet. You'll dash to the target area before Tigger lands. Well, good luck. Alright. God, we will probably do absolutely terrible here. Block Tigger. Beat Tigger to the carrot before he bounces them into the ground. one. I bet I did absolutely terrible as this as a kid. Shit. Oh, there went three. Well, we saved 10. Say, you kept up pretty good there, Sora. Especially for a non-tigger. Let's have another go. <laughs> Thank you so much. I better make that carrot top juice. I'll get the carrot, so please wait inside the house. Man, these little mini games are long. Day. Okay, poo the carrot top juice. All we have to do now is push him out. Just a little push should do. <laughs> First my vegetable patch and now this. Oh, oh, where am I? It's ever so dark in here. Well, it isn't so bad, I suppose. <laughs> there is plenty of honey. <laughs> the torn page turned into a new item. All right. I believe... Yeah, I believe we're going to call it here. And in the next episode... We will finish the rest of these torn pages. Thank you so much for watching.